of arts leaders came together in 2013, worried about the inability of the many arts disciplines to find common voice and a single voice to give them greater heft. How was it that the most successful sector in the UK is also the least well represented? At the Federation, our aim is to bring cities and regions of the UK closer together, to break down the London versus the rest somewhat hackneyed debate. But most of all, is to give our great and growing sector the clout it deserves but rarely seizes. As any organisation with a website knows, they can be found from anywhere in the world and this automatically makes you an international business. I think that people who take risks to grow businesses are heroes. I think it's what makes the UK great. Uh, we employ, we contribute, we manufacture, we grow brands that we're proud of that amplify around the world. What's exciting now, and I love this idea of the Northern Powerhouse, is that you can do business and create a business anywhere in the country now. You know, you have the internet and you have transport. I'm hoping that you will feed into those discussions, that you will tell us what it is that's going on in your various areas. Um, we will take away from today stuff that will make this one of the best cities in the world, never mind in the UK, for the creative sector. If there's one thing I want 2023 to do, it's to make sure that when we come out of the other end, the people of South and East Leeds have as much stake in, as much active interest in, as much representation in the arts and culture and the creative industries as the richer parts of the city. Somebody has always said that um, we should unify all of the resources, all of the talent of the North, and we'll really show the world what we're made of. This appears to be the opportunity in a nutshell. For us it's about forward looking and to be seen not just as the added entertainment that we are actually a business and a business that's worth investing in. Looking outside our sectors for where our partnerships are going to happen across that Northern Corridor is going to be, it's going to be really important and that's how we get ourselves embedded in the bigger debates about the Northern Powerhouse, I think. If there wasn't a Northern Powerhouse title, I'd still be doing what we're doing, and I would still be placing Yorkshire on a, on a national field and an international field. I'm very passionate about bringing together academia and industry, because I think that's where the, kind of, that's the powerhouse for the next generation of companies mm. and for talent. Yorkshire and Humberside has the lowest uptake of GCSE art and design students, the lowest attainment of GCSE art and design results, and the lowest uptake of boys at GCSE art and design as well. How can we uh, redress that really? The fact that through one means or another, children are either choosing not to go into arts or are being told, probably more likely, that there's a reason not to go into that. You have to get into schools and you have to get in a primary level and you have to excite them with the possibilities. People are not aware of what creative industries actually means and the jobs that, that actually can spin off from the term creative industries. To any teacher I would say, print out photographs of Johnny Ive and how much money he made, print out pictures of you know, the latest opera star or whatever would inspire them and some more facts that will appeal to them and to the parents. We're making Sonic the Hedgehog, Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, all these big games, we're making them in the region. It's fantastic, you don't need to go anywhere else. And I think if you get that message across, it's just really, you know, kids love it. Perhaps one of the exciting things about this Northern Powerhouse idea is, you know, maybe it will help us, you know, retain people. That is probably something I see as one of the keys to building Leeds as a city, and especially the creative industries. There's loads and loads of good work that goes on, but it doesn't join up. Mm. And that means that we're just losing talent as we're developing it. We're losing it. Nobody knows where it's going. Most of it's probably going down to London. And the key thing, as you said, is about roots into industry because that's where the big gap is. What is Leeds' role potentially going to be in the Northern Powerhouse? Leeds is in a really strong position to be a cultural hub for the whole of the Powerhouse. And I think we should set our stall out and decide to be it. I think we need to be uh, quite honest about not being uh, the same as another big urban centre, but being quite different and quite special. and. Better. One of the things that I do feel that Leeds really could focus on is galvanising the excellence that we have and the power and the strength that we have in vocalising and being visible in terms of what we offer. We all realise that if we are really going to make culture at the heart of um, the Northern Powerhouse or the nation, 
uh, we need to do it together. And I'll add my urge to all of you sort of think seriously about um, coming in to uh, the Federation because I think that one voice is what we lack and it's the one voice we can now gain. Thank you. Thank you.